Hey there guys, guys, and I'm Binary Pals. I'm back. I'm actually back this time. For real. D d great things have happened. Wonderful things have happened. Shitty things have happened too, but mostly great and wonderful. So, at my ring light, uh, how's the lighting? Do, I mean, I'm, like, we'll get into that in the future. Anyway, what's happened? Well, if you recall, about 18 months ago, I recorded a video saying I was back and then I wasn't. Turns out there's a lot of problems going on with the situation that I had then. Um, I'm still living in the same house because, well, I own it with my partner and my mom. But I have this enormous 30 square meter shed. And this is like two fifths of it. This. This is my new office. Yes, that's fabric on the walls. I'll explain in another video. But I realized very quickly that I couldn't work in my bedroom. I just couldn't. I hated working in my bedroom it felt wrong and I think that's because I've since the beginning of this channel I've always had a separate workspace a space that I could work from that I could walk away from that I could go okay I've had enough of that shite for today done which was what I was doing and uh, I couldn't do that and it was too difficult and it drove me absolutely insane and I hated every second of it, so I stopped. Additionally, you may have noticed that all of my comments are disabled, except for on this video, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have comments enabled on some videos and not on others, and I'll see what way my commenters behave. But um, yeah, I was getting a lot of harassment and people following me from here to Twitter, and not Twitter, Twitch, and. Not, not Twitch, Twitter. I was right the first time. I should never record when I'm this. I'm only this much awake. Anywho, um, yeah, it was a bad, bad, bad scene. But I'm back. Things have changed. Wonderful things have changed. Partially because of disasters. So I already explained about the bedroom. However, there was also another problem, which was that my old gaming rig. None of which had none of its parts apart from my GPU being newer than 10 years old finally gave up the ghost. First, the motherboard fried my old CPU, so I replaced the CPU, and then the CPU or something fried my memory, most of it, and then the memory fried the CPU again. So, yeah, I have a new PC. Again, there's going to be a video on that, but suffice to say, it's a Ryzen 7 3700X, which is very nice which means of course that i'm going to have upgrade potential for a very long time because the am4 standard is going to be used for a long time yet um it's a really really decent computer i'm delighted with it i can finally play elite dangerous so yeah that happened and when i realized i couldn't work inside in the house i concentrated on getting out here to a state where it was possible to work in it um, this is not its final configuration. Big surprise to anyone who knows me. But um, it'll be like this probably for a year, maybe two years, and then things will have changed. And yeah. So I guess I should talk about what's coming. The last video I did, I talked about the fact that I was starting an art channel. I am starting an art channel and all of my Let's Draws, all of my art projects, all of my crafting, any model making or prop making, will go to that channel because I realized early on, I realized early on after the move here, going through my channel, my own channel as a viewer, my channel is really confusing. Like it's ridiculously scattershot. So that needs to change. So I'm gonna have day-to-day -day vlogs like this on this channel under the My Random Ruminations banner. Uh, Transgender Thoughts, I'm thinking I might I might branch that off into its own channel because I have a lot I want to talk about that, but it needs to be more focused. I'm thinking about it. I'm open to suggestions. This channel, however, is going to become far more gaming and tech focused. Uh, tech as in, I'm spending the whole time at the moment looking for like random pieces of tech that are interesting. And I'm finding quite a few of them like this ring light, which honestly, I'm surprised by how good it is. Wow, my eyes are dark. Um, but yeah, I, I, I think 
we're going to go down that road. I'm also going to concentrate on no more than two Let's Plays at a time. I'm going to do one Minecraft Let's Play, which is for all the little kitties in my life, like Claire's kids and Nate's kids and Casey and Kyle and Alfie and Eva, who doesn't watch these videos anymore, and Phelan, who does. And yeah, there's a lot of kids in my life. Actually, those are only the ones I can think of right off the top of my head because there is a lot more. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to do a Minecraft series for them. I've picked out a really interesting mod pack. It's um, it's a quest based one, but it's not a sky block. It's a standard world, which is really interesting. I've never I've made sky blocks into normal survival world Let's Plays before, but I've never done one that was designed from the ground up for that so that's going to be really interesting and I have some plans for it and some ideas for it so that will be coming very soon I'm going to be doing a long play and by long play I mean you will see almost everything there's a couple of slightly less interesting aspects of the game that I'll be cutting out but you will see almost everything of a Dragon's Dogma Dark Arisen let's play yes it's an old game I don't care Dragon's Dogma is honestly one of the best action role-playing games i've ever played it is brilliant and all of the storytelling is environmental mostly there's like small bits of it that aren't it has the most baller dragon in any game or movie i've ever played or seen um it's a wonderful game so i'm going to be recording that here on my pc once i have my character built up and ready i'll let you know the name of the pawn i'll explain that in the i'm basically going to do a a pre the series game session where I'll explain what's happening and what, how you can join in and have some fun with me. Uh, so that's going to be happening. So my plan with that is that the Minecraft Let's Plays will go up, but will go up at the weekend. Uh, as I said, they're for the kids in my life, and if there's any of you big kids who want to join in and watch along, feel free. Uh, if I can organize it, I might try and do a some guest shots on that Minecraft Let's Play. If I can, um, I don't mean the kids. I mean ye. Uh, if any of you are able to run the mod pack, and I'll try and set it up as a uh, an open to the pub, an open to an individual at a time one, where I'll get you to come in and um, you can build your own thing in the world, and that will stand there as a monument until the end of the let's play. Uh, so that's happening. Streaming and art. Streaming is happening. That is one of the reasons I went for the computer I went for. Uh, I'm going to be streaming on Twitch. I'm hoping to do it twice a week. Three times a week if I can really, really push it. I have two projects planned for it. Project the first is a... Well, to begin with, it's going to be some fan art stuff. Uh, Casey Explosion, who if you're not following her on Twitch, you should. And on Twitter, she is the Sloth Mama. Uh... I want to do some fan art of her and I need to do some fan art of a couple of other other creators I'm really, really fond of and they're people that I think a great deal of. And then I'm also planning this, um, for lack of a better word, story driven stream series. Not entirely sure that that's a thing, but I'm about to make it a thing. So that's that. Alongside that, once a week, I will be doing a let's draw where I will be doing a streaming let's draw where I will be doing a panel from my webcomic. Yes, I'm going to have a webcomic, another webcomic. Uh, it is a huge project I've been developing for four years now or five years. And it's actually a four part story. It follows a particular set of female protagonists and their descendants. It's big really big so i kind of want to do a let's stream a street let's stream what the fuck is a let's stream i want to do a stream about once a week where i do a panel maybe a page i don't know where i don't do the text but i'll be doing the uh storyboard and like that whole aspect and part of the reason i want to do that way is i'm hoping that people will follow the stream and they might catch something that i miss like for example, I didn't know you could grid out drawings until, like, if you were doing a live, a live, 
a life pose or oh, I can't think of the word for it. Life drawing. If you were doing a life drawing, um, you can read out. The page. I didn't know that existed until like this time last year. This is the problem of being self-taught. You don't know what you don't know. So hopefully people will have suggestions and yeah, I'm just kind of going to try and drag ye all into this shit because um, why the fuck not? Audience participation is a thing. So uh, right now, that's the plan for the rest of this week. Uh, today is Tuesday. I'm hoping to have another vlog up on Thursday and another one on Saturday. Uh, the, those two vlogs will be kind of covering this and that because um, there's, <laughs> there's a lot to show and I'm quite proud of what I've achieved. Um, yeah, I, I also need to stop myself saying am um, again because that verbal tick has returned with a vengeance. Anywho, I hope you're all having a great day and I will see you all again on Thursday. Starting next week, with any luck, we'll have Let's Plays. Probably. I, I'm, I'm trying to sort stuff out. Uh, anyway, have a great day. Be good. Bye for now.